South Africa and Romania, folks. Rugby World Cup 2023. 76-0 is a proper hiding. It's kind of what we expected. We'll go through things kind of brief. Sorry about the delay in this one. This was a 1 a.m. game, and I'm still nursing a little bit of a cold. I'm almost right, but I wanted to get a bit of sleep in, and I knew this one was going to be a hiding, so there was kind of less incentives to get up and watch it live. But, um, yeah, I'm sure you South African fans enjoyed that one, seeing you guys running some tries. Romania, I mean, you had a few periods of play where you held off for a wee while. You had a go a couple of times, but couldn't quite crack any points. But, um We'll go through the game pretty brief, and you guys can let us know uh, your thoughts. Shame that Vincent Koch didn't get a game. He was a late withdrawal from this one. Romania guilty of a few mistakes. They kicked it out on the full early. They opted for three after about 15 minutes, and the, the thing went wide. Um, they missed touch when they had a penalty at one point. Their best period of play was probably when it was absolutely horrendously piddling down with rain. That rain is maybe the loudest I've heard on a TV camera from a rugby game ever. Like, I've been in some games like as a fan where it's been um, horrendously heavy, you know, and it's um, you go back and watch it at home on the replay later and it never looks that bad. The fact that it looked that bad on camera, it must have been absolutely torrential. So that was probably the best of it for, for, um, for Romania. They started really badly. I mean, the, tr the, the try scoring was that quick. I think it was 26-0 after like 11 or 12 minutes. Like, it could have been... If they'd kept at that rate of scoring, this would have been a horrendously... We would have been looking at triple figures, but 76-0 is kind of a similar margin to what the Irish won by. Uh, Reinach gets three all in the first half. Doesn't quite break his own record. Uh, a couple from scrums. He just snipes the dummy... It's just too too much for guys. They they, they can't read it, and he's over. Um, Willems, his step is filthy, but man, what a thing of beauty. Filthy thing of beauty at the same time. Crocker Smith won a good turnover to set him up. Um, LaRue knocked it on after about half an hour, and I thought that was maybe going to be Romania's best chance. They did go like six phases before getting turned over. So we had a reference to, um, in my commentary anyway, <clears throat> to Corbus Reinach's father after his second try, because anytime that guy gets into some, some space, they're going to mention his dad. Rightly so. He's quick. His dad was quick. So, yeah, man. Um, it was 26-0 after, like, 12 minutes. Uh, maybe the rain slowed things down a wee bit in that first half, but it was 33-0 at halftime. The Romanian line-out was 3 from 8. They'd missed 20 tackles, and then the South Africans had won 6 turnovers. It was... Yeah, it was uh, second team in the world up against Romania, wasn't it? So, yeah, I felt sorry for them, but second half, we saw some pretty crazy stuff that you maybe never thought you were going to see a couple of years ago. You see Dion Ferry getting his first try as a hooker for the Springboks at a Rugby World Cup. Like, if we'd said that, I don't know, two years ago, would you have thought you would have seen that? Probably not. The backs got in there as well, so 38-0. Um, Romania decided not to go for a penalty in the second half. They went for a maul. They tried to maul the Springboks. It didn't work, but they gave it a go. That was something at least a bit, you know, give it a go, Romania. Um, Willems had got one chalked off for obstruction, but Grant Williams got one from a nice... Well, they got... I, I forgot to write the penalty try on here. There's a penalty try as well. Uh, it was a penalty try from a maul... Oh, no, sorry, from a scrum. Grant Williams got one from a set piece. And then another thing that you never thought you'd probably see is a try that was Grant Williams scoring it and it was Faf de Klerk who passed it to him, which is maybe not that surprising because you could see two halfbacks on the same field at the same time. But Jaden Hendricks had passed it to him. So Hendricks to Faf to Grant. Halfback, halfback, halfback. Or in this case, halfback, fly half, winger. But you know what I mean? That was pretty cool. Um, you got to see um, a pimpy hat trick. His second try was probably my favorite, the one where he ran it out there in 22. Just wide ball from an ambitious South African side wanting to put on some points. Uh, Marco van Staden doing a line-out throw. Did you think you'd see that from the Springboks in the World Cup? I didn't, but he did it. And they won it, and it led to him a pimpy try. It led to the hat-trick try. So, well done for them. 71-0, and then um, after Hendricks had gone close... LaRue for his final, well, for the final try, for his only try, didn't even have to dummy. He just held the ball in two hands and just ran straight. Held the line and then the defender didn't tackle him. So, yeah, 76-0. 
810 meters to 246, 12 clean breaks to two, 35 defenders beaten to 19, 12 offloads to one, um, 18 penalties conceded by the Romanians to seven. So, yeah. South Africa got to try some stuff. Some guys got some minutes into them. And, um, yeah, it was pretty convincing. As I said, very, very similar scoreline to the Irish game. They didn't score as many points, but they didn't concede any points. So there you go. LaRue, three try assists and a try. Mapimpi, two try assists, a hat trick, 172 meters, two clean breaks, four defenders beaten, man of the match. Pretty tidy. Um, Inyakane and uh, Smith both had nine from nine tackles. Simonescu, the fullback, had 60 meters and beat six defenders, which is not bad in a game where you get beaten that bad. Um, uh, Motok, the hook, uh, the uh, lock, had 13 from 13 tackles. But yeah, there you go, folks. Sorry about the delay. Like I said, um, I knew it was going to be a hiding. Uh, there was never going to be any risk of spoilers for this one. So I figured I would just um, get around to it when I got around to it. So yeah, Romania have got Scotland next. It's a tough pull. A tough pull for Romania. You can imagine it's probably going to be a big score line there. But they got 13 days now to get ready for it. So we'll see what... Um, what kind of scoreline they can put up in that fight. And then uh, South Africa, oh, they've got Ireland, which is perhaps the game I am most looking forward to of any game at the moment. That's just going to be huge. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, uh, it's actually school holidays here in New Zealand at that time. I've asked my parents to look after the kids for that game because I just, I just want to watch the game. Like, I love my kids to death, but for that one day, can I please just have some <laughs> some time alone with the TV? So, um, there you go. 76-0 South Africa over Romania. You guys let us know your thoughts on the game. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Take care. Bye.